Hey Cubesters, welcome back to my channel, and in today's tutorial, we'll be doing how to do intuitive L4E on a Pyramix. Alright, so to get to L4E, which stands for last four edges if you didn't know, what you need to do is solve all of these little edges by flipping the corners like so. Then you line up these three that line up in color, so for me, we can do red, like that, and those line up. And I'm assuming you already know how to solve a Pyramix. So you should know the sledgehammer, and we can sledge sledgehammer this piece in, and that lines up. And we can do that with one other piece, so that way, with, um, with whatever color you're solving, it creates this V shape, and these colors are solved along with it. So you'll notice L4E stands for last four edges, which is one, two, three, four on Pyramix. And how I do it intuitively is I look at the piece that's in here, and we'll go over what happens if there's a flipped piece in here that goes right here later on. But what I do right now is I look at the two colors that are here, which is green and blue, and if we move it up to the right or left side, it would change colors. So if we moved it up on the left side, it would be blue, but if we moved it up on the right side, it would still be blue. And so you look for the green-blue piece up top, which is right here, and these two colors match up. So when these two colors match up, you can move it to the right because when you move this piece on the right side, these match up and this is what you want. And so now next, you'll notice this is the flipped piece that would go here, but we still need edges to swap so you don't put that there yet. And instead we put down this blue yellow piece and now we have this piece in the back solved. And what you can do for this case when it's these three edges that need to be swapped. So what you do is you look and see if the right piece goes here, which is yellow green, and we have yellow red, which means the left piece goes here, and you can just do a lefty sledgehammer. And then you get this case, which these two need, or sorry, these two pieces need to be swapped in their places, which you can do a lefty sledgehammer, and then, um, sorry, you turn it up, and then you do L prime R L R prime like that, and that solves that case. Another example of L4E is a little bit quicker. So blue and green belongs right here. So we can move this piece up. This piece is not red and yellow. So we can move this over and bring this back down. And as you can see, we have the three pieces, but this time they're all solved. So what I do is a sledgehammer and then you'll notice that you get these three pieces. So then you can do that same case where you'll notice the piece on the right this time goes down here. So you can do a righty sledgehammer. And then you end up with this case, which is a lefty sledgehammer. And then what I like to call a lefty up sledgehammer. And that solves that. All right, now we'll be going over what you do if you have the piece where it belongs, but it's flipped. And this is fairly simple. You just need to replace it with another piece and you can do this using R u prime r prime and just like that we have a new piece this can go here or sorry it would go the other way like this and these two line up this piece does not go here so we can put this back down and this is yellow and red which would go right here so we can line this up or sorry like this move this piece over and here and we can line that up and you'll notice we get these two flipped edges right here, where this one needs to flip and this one. And it's the same algorithm where it's a lefty sledgehammer and then a lefty up sledgehammer like that. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed my tutorial on L4E for the Pyramids. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and share my channel with your family or friends who are trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. If you liked this video, don't forget to drop a like and a comment for new video ideas because I love to hear from my subscribers and see what videos you'd like to see from me. Thanks for watching, Cubesters. Have a great day. Bye.